What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is having a good day. So for today's video, I'm going to be going through exactly everything that you need to do to get shredded for summer 2021, as well as lots of tips to help you get shredded. And these are all the things that I've done in the past that have worked and that I will be doing this year as well to help me get shredded. So hopefully you'll pick up a lot of tips, find it really useful. Really appreciate if you like the video, subscribe if you're not already. Without further ado, well, let's get into it. First things first, we'll just quickly get the obvious thing out of the way. I've talked about this a million times, but for those of you that might not have heard me talk about it before, if you want to get absolutely shredded, so you want to lose body fat, then you need to be in a calorie deficit. And that is when you consume less calories than your body burns on a daily basis. And that is the only way that you're going to lose body fat. Calories in, calories out. It's that simple, mate. So for me, I ended my bulk at nearly 13 stone and my maintenance calories were sitting around 2,700. Your maintenance calories are just the amount of calories that you need to eat to maintain your current body weight. If you eat more than your maintenance calories, you gain weight. And if you eat less than your maintenance calories, then you will lose weight. So now, because I'm going to be losing weight, I'm going to be eating 2,400 to 2,500 calories a day. And that's me being in a 200 to 300 calorie deficit. If you want to find out how many calories that you need to eat to be in a calorie deficit and lose weight, then what I recommend is going on to a online calorie calculator such as caloriecalculator.net. That'll give you kind of an estimate of what your maintenance calories are. They're normally pretty accurate, to be honest. And then for you to start losing weight, Weight, just start eating between 200 to 500 calories less than what that says. I normally recommend eating a small amount less, so 200 to 300. Then when you stop seeing progress, reduce that further, so back to 400 to 500. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started with the day. I'm going to give you guys lots of tips of what I'm doing to actually help me stay in a calorie deficit because a lot of people do struggle with it, but there are lots of things that you can do to make it a lot easier. One of my biggest tips is to eat lots of low calorie dense foods or high volume foods so foods that will keep you fuller for longer that are low in calories and that is going to be lots of fruit and veg honestly even if you don't like it that much just get it in your meals with pretty much every meal try and get some fruit or some veg it's healthy for you lots of vitamins minerals nutrients and it's going to help keep you fuller for longer and really help with your calorie deficit. Another top tip is to have low calorie versions of your favourite food and drinks. For example, we've got Zero Sugar Monster, Zero Sugar Coca-Cola, which are both pretty much zero calories. Or you can just have any sort of diet drink um, that's low in sugar, low in calories, or they do have some zero calorie drinks as well just changes the game honestly then we've got low calorie versions of your favorite foods as well for example we've got halo top ice cream only 320 calories for the full tub can't go wrong whereas ben and jerry's is like pretty sure close to a thousand calories for the full tub then we've got fiber one bars 90 calories per brownie high in fiber as well so it helps keep you fuller for longer and these things actually taste pretty good as well they might not be quite as good as the real thing but considering how much lower they are in calories it's worth doing or you can alternatively you don't have to buy them from the shops although there are lots of options of low calorie items in the shops these days you can also make your own like low calorie ice cream um, and things like that as well and yeah having all these low calorie food and drinks I find really helps with cravings and just helps to keep you on track with your diet whilst kind of still enjoying nice foods now I'm gonna head off to the gym for a push day which I will film for you guys I've just actually got this in the post today as well which is a proper like big tripod so I can film my workouts. I was a bit skeptical about buying one at first because you know just whacking this out in the middle of the gym probably gonna get quite a few looks but to be honest I fucking quit my job so I now want to get the quality content for you guys so I don't even care anymore I'm just gonna fucking drag this all around the gym if people want to look at me they can look at me another thing that I recommend doing is increasing your activity levels what a wonderful day it is today as well always puts you in a better mood when the weather is nice the sun is shining and what I mean by increasing your activity levels is going for a walk just starting to get out more get a bit lively for me at the moment I'm aiming to go on a walk every day for between just half an hour to an hour um, which is mainly for me going to the gym at the moment because it's about a 20 minute walk there 20 minute walk back so about 40 minutes over 
overall. And yeah, just instead of like driving to places or getting public transport to places, just start walking, like walk to the shops, walk to the hairdressers, walk to your mate's house, just get more active, trust me. It makes a massive difference, means that you burn more calories, which obviously just helps you stay in that calorie deficit, which is what we want. Aiming to walk 10,000 steps a day can also be a good thing to aim for in terms of increasing your activity levels, just walking more. It doesn't have to be 10,000, you can start off maybe 6,000 steps a day and increase that over time to 8,000 then 10,000 just as a way of kind of progressing your activity levels and burning more calories. Next up, we're gonna talk about cardio. I would definitely recommend doing cardio if you're trying to get shredded. Firstly, because it's just good for your cardiovascular health. We wanna have a healthy heart, mate. And secondly, it burns calories. Now, I'm starting off doing two sessions a week for 20 minutes, that's it, but I will gradually build that up to three sessions, four sessions, and then increase the duration as well up to half an hour, 40 minutes, and so on. And with regards to which cardio you do, it doesn't really matter. It's about doing which one that you enjoy because that's the one that you're gonna stick to at the end of the day. And yeah, it's just really good for trying to get shredded because you're burning lots of calories and you can only reduce your kind of calories so far with regards to how much you're eating. So it gets to the point where where doing more cardio becomes the better option to help you to continue to lose body fat. Protein. Having a high protein intake is one of the best things that you can do when you are trying to get shredded to the bone. And I will tell you why, mate, because there are so many benefits to getting in enough protein in your diet. Firstly, protein helps to keep you fuller for longer compared to other macronutrients, which is great if you're trying to lose weight because you want to be full. You don't want to be hungry. You want to be full for as long as possible. Secondly, protein has a higher thermic effect of food compared to other macronutrients. So what I mean by that is that your body burns more calories digesting protein compared to other macronutrients, which is obviously good because you're burning more calories, which is what we want to do to help with a calorie deficit. And thirdly, obviously protein is key to building muscle. And when you are trying to cut, you want to maintain as much muscle mass as possible or even build muscle mass. So having a high protein diet is going to be key to helping you maintain as well as maybe build more muscle mass. And on top of that, the more muscle mass that you have, the more calories that your body will burn at rest, which again, all helps with a calorie deficit. So cheers to a high protein diet. A lot of the main high protein foods are basically just all your different meats, beef, chicken, pork, steak, then you've got eggs, fish, protein powder, it's especially because it can be hard for some people to try and hit that high protein intake. When I say that, I mean aim for at least one gram per pound of body weight. So protein powder is one of the best things out there to help you hit your protein intake. And it's a really good source of protein as well. It's so good because you can have it with so many things like shakes, pancakes, oats, like whatever, it's just class. And if you do want to get any protein powder, any protein bars, supplements in general, then click the link in my bio, head over to my proteins website, use code WEST for a cheeky discount. Water intake. I guarantee that the majority of you are not drinking enough water. You want to be drinking at least two litres a day, which is about eight glasses of water. I got this big half a gallon jug, which is two litres. I'm aiming to drink two of these a day, which is four litres, because your body is up to 60% water, so 
Drinking water is absolutely key, mate. It helps to keep you fuller for longer, so it helps when you're hungry. And also, when you're hydrated, you will feel a lot better. And as some of you may know, when you're cutting, especially the longer you've been cutting for, your energy levels start to decrease, you can get a bit moody and stuff. So you wanna do everything you can to make sure that you're feeling good. And water will make a massive difference. So make sure you are getting your water intake in. So that's pretty much everything that you can be doing and I will be doing to get shredded for summer 2021. So just to recap for you, you need to be in a calorie deficit, only way to lose body fat. Then you want to be eating lots of fruit and vegetables, eat low calorie versions of your favorite food and drinks. On top of that, increase your activity levels. So start walking around more, just being more active in general. Then for cardio, start off doing your cardio and just slowly build it up the deeper that you get into your cut. Have a high protein diet and aim to eat between one to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight and drink lots of water because there's so many benefits to having a high protein diet and staying hydrated, drinking lots of water. And then finally, one of the most important things is to just stay consistent and work hard. Consistency is key. Just stick at it, guys. Implement the tips that I've given you today and you will get there. You will be a shredded beast for summer, my friend. I promise you that. And yeah, that's it for the video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it, found it useful, and I really appreciate it. If you like the video, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one.